Say it again, say it again. Cava da lofu. Man, and something in French sounds the same. Beauty. Beauty. Wow. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Bonsoir. Bonsoir. <laughs> Bonjour. Bon bonjour. Depends when you're watching this. We make this ambiance a peu sexy. Yeah. On purpose, we have a lighting, we have a shadow for my special guest today, all the way from Paris, the city of romance. My mother is American, so I'm French American. Ah, okay. Even though I was born and raised in France. So. How would you describe French people? The best and the worst at the same time. Because we're we're a bit uh, we're a bit grumpy. We're grumpy people. Are you guys romantic? Avec toi peut-être. Oh, oh la la. <laughs> per usual, when I have my international friends over, we will give each other five questions. Cinq. About ourselves. But because you're French, I'm gonna make it a little bit different for you. Do you know like what France is famous for? Beautiful women. Oh. Wow! Yeah. Wow! And you forget one thing that all Asian people go crazy, but not just Asian, everywhere, every person on the planet. Free healthcare. <laughs> <laughs> Designer brands. French is a very difficult language. We translate some of your terms or names into our own language. I understand. So I'm going to test you brands or knowledge, but I'm going to say them in Chinese and see if you can uh, guess your own items. So today I'm going to give you some French expressions. I hope I'm going to win. I don't think you'll win. Yeah, I doubt it. But we'll French people outside. never beat Asian people. Doubt that. Football, maybe, yes. <laughs> Maths, no. Okay. <laughs> C'est parti. On commence? On commence. Ooh. The first one. La première. Yeah. Tomber dans les pommes. But does tomber mean four? Wow. Fluent. Bilingue. How many languages do you speak? In front of you, I speak the language of love. Wow. <laughs> so tomber dans, la, dans les into the apples. Pomme. Apples is pomme. Pom. <laughs> Wait, but you guys say, do you guys call iPhone pomme? Pomme, yeah, we say, we say like marque à la pomme, it's like the brand, the apple. Like we still say apple though, because the name is apple. So we say apple. 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 <laughs> Water. <laughs> well, normally, an apple falls on you. Mm -hmm. Like Newton, Newton. Hey, when he okay. discovered gravity. Mm -hmm. so when you fall into an apple, you must be the opposite of Newton, which means you're quite stupid. I like I like your reasoning. Picture yourself falling into like a a lot of apples. Do you think it feel it, it would feel nice? I got myself into trouble. Okay, so tomber dans les pommes means to faint. So like maybe like if you don't feel too well and like you faint, you fall to the ground, you you tombe dans les pommes. What? Yeah, but je suis tombé dans les pommes. It means like I fainted. Okay. But let's say a fan girl sees you and she's like, oh, Torres is so beautiful. Je tombe dans les pommes. Okay. I'm sure you've seen uh, plenty of women tomber dans les pommes before. Yeah, I, I pick up the apple, give it back to <laughs> This is quite a famous phrase that Chinese people say regarding like French culture. Okay. So you guys say certain words mm -hmm. that we don't understand, but right. it sounds like something in Chinese for us. I'm gonna repeat myself in Cantonese and then Mandarin. I'm gonna try. But you can't tell the difference anyway. <laughs> <laughs> In Mandarin, Jin Wan Da Lao Hu. Man, this is so hard. Okay. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna translate the literal meaning to you. Okay, thank God. Tonight, I'm going to hit a tiger. Gaman Da Lao Hu. Man, and something in French sounds the same. Yeah. And then and then we, we listen to it and we're like, wow, it sounds like that in Chinese. It sounds like tonight I'm gonna hit a tiger in Chinese. <laughs> okay, so which one is the closest? Is it like Cantonese? Cantonese, Cantonese, Cantonese I think. Personally. Okay. Gaman Say it. Oh say it. I got it, I got it, I got it. See ya. <laughs> you went slow on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, comment allez vous? Oh I shouldn't have said it so fast. No man, it's part of the game, no? Say it again, say it again. Come on, Dalo Fu. Come on, Dalo Fu. Comment allez-vous? Which means also, for those who don't know in English, how are you? If you're feeling good, comment allez-vous? Ça va, merci. So, like, ça va means I'm okay. Yeah. Merci, thank you. Okay. You can also add et vous and you. Avoir un poil dans la main. Main is hand. A like hair in the hand. Yeah, so to have a hair, just one. A hair. In your hand. Wow. Good luck. Bonne chance. Yep. Does it have to be hair? Can it be mustache? No, no it's just hair. It doesn't. It, it, we don't know if it's like a hair or hair. Like it's, it's a trait of character. 
So you would say you are, you have hair in your hand. Yeah. Tu as, tu as un poil dans la main. It means you're poor. You have nothing but only your hair. No. It means to be lazy. Someone is lazy. It means someone has a hair in their hand. What? <laughs> zero, right? Yes, it's zero. Nice. You got two. Well, no, no, no you got one. one. Okay. I'm about to have two. How do you say shut up in French? Fermela. Fermela. This one, it's a French item or French name or French person. Mm -hmm. We translate that into Chinese. Wait, so it's a French brand or person? Or yeah, I can't tell you. <laughs> okay, okay. I can't Does it sound the same? Is it the same thing as before? Is it the, with the sound? Yeah, quite similar, I would say. Got it from the official website. Biuzi. Mandarin is Biaozi. Oh, yeah, okay. And which one is closest? Cantonese, I think. This word, it's like, if I look at it, and I don't speak French, even I learned French for three months, I would still find this word impossible to pronounce. Biuzi. It's short like this? Yeah. And it's hard? Yeah. So Beauty has a very good friend, Shi Ti Long. Mandarin, Shi Ti Long. Man, this is hard. Shi Ti Long. Man, I don't know. Okay, it's a brand. Famous French brand, but we're not good at doing it. Not as good as when you guys make cheese. Wow, man. So beauty is Peugeot. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. How is that close? It's so close. His friend, Suti Long. Suti Long. Citroën. Citroën. <laughs> but the first one is Peugeot. Peugeot. Pe. Pe. Peugeot. <laughs> Beauty! <laughs> Peugeot. Peugeot. It's not J. It's Peugeot. It is hard. name. Even, even for English speakers, I think it's hard. I understand that, like what you mean by it. Like, we're not the best. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice car, but Decent car. your big rivalry in Germany, they're also making a lot of cars. Great ones. But you guys also make airplanes. We do. Uh, Airbus. Best. Yes. Ooh. Yes, baby, the much anticipated Lingoda language sprint is back. Before I get into anything, there's a language hack article that I came across a couple of days ago and I really want to share it with you guys. This graph here shows four types of people who are trying to learn a new language. People who are only learning on the weekends or Monday to Friday show a lower language ability compared to the people who learn every day. But the most interesting result here is people who learn it daily before their bedtime show the highest level of ability in terms of acquiring that new language. And then I went on to find this research published on the psychological science. There was a research where they got a bunch of participants to learn foreign vocabulary until they reach a perfect level of performance. Half of them learn it in the morning and relearn it again in the same afternoon. The other half learn it in the evening, they slept and then relearn it in the morning after. They found out that sleeping between learning sessions reduced the amount of practice needed by half and ensured much better long-term retention. So now it is your time to do the intensive daily language learning. First day of the sprint starts on the 1st first, first, first of July. If you sign up for Super Sprint, you attend 30 classes per month for 3 months to get 100% of your tuition fee back. On the same day, you could choose Sprint, which requires you to do 15 classes per month for 3 months to get 50% of your tuition fee back. You can learn these languages with the native teachers on the platform. My quick advice for you is if you sign up for the language sprint, try to use the strategy presented by the research. So you can sign up for a night class, do the class, go to bed, wake up in the morning and revise what you have learned maybe on your way to work. But of course everyone is different so you can choose to take classes on Lingoda anytime, anywhere. Sign up before the 15th of June with the link in my description box and use my promo code here to get 10 euro off your deposit. Make sure you read the rules before you sign up there in both Chinese and English and uh same say body ying so happy learning se faire rouler dans la farine like so to be rolled yeah to be rolled into flour flour like the flour you use to make the bread is it a French thing it's a French expression because in uh in Quebec in Canada, mm -hmm. they also speak French, right? No, it's just the accent is very different. Would you understand someone from Canada? Yes, but like some expressions and some, like the accent sometimes can be like so strong that I wouldn't understand. Wow. But would they understand this expression? You think it's a yeah. common amount of French speaking people? I think so, yeah. So people in Africa, they will also understand. 
Yeah. We are walking in the street. My friend popped into the store and stole a bag of chips. Police arrested all of us. I'm, I'm being rolled into the flower. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Means to be played. For oh, all like tourists, I really I need some money because uh, my pet is going to have a uh, surgery or yeah, whatever. Okay. And I just I'm just going to take your money and go gamble. So yes, you're you are the victim because I'm rolling you into the flower by lying to you and cheating. Ah. Uh, Iman. Low yi ma ha long. Damn, that's long. Boom. Say it quick, say it fast. No. Yi wan lu e ma ke long. Wow, man. Ooh la la. Say sure. Say sure. Okay, I'll give you a hint. It's a person. Ma ke. Oh, I got it. I got it. Emmanuel Macron. I can't believe it. Wow, that was hard, though. How do you say it in French? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Macron. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Same, same, same. Okay, but you see in the, man, the Mandarin. It's closer? Because there's the K. Uh, like Macron. Macron. Yeah, because like I don't think there was a K in the Cantonese one, right? Mahatlo. Mr. President. Monsieur le Président. Monsieur le Président. En faire tout un fromage. Oh, oh fromage. Oh, fromage is cheese. Oh. So you make a situation. Yeah. Make it a whole cheese. Because when you guys eat cheese, that you you guys normally slice it, right? Yeah. With a knife. Mm -hmm. So now you're saying to make the cheese a whole. A situation is happening. Yeah. Okay. And someone is making a a whole cheese out of it. Making a fuss. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> In English, they say make a fuss out of it. Yeah. French people say don't make a cheese out of it. Yes. <laughs> Someone takes one dollar or ten dollar from you. Yeah. Stealing is still it's it's not that much. Yeah. But you want to go and press charges yeah. to the police yeah. station. This is like tu en fais tout un fromage. Okay, this one we have done a lot of French Chinese uh, translation now. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to do a Chinese expression. French people like to drink wine. Mm -hmm. That's very famous. Bordeaux. The drinker's mind is not on the cup. A drinker? So like us. I don't drink. Tu ne bois pas? Je ne bois pas. Tu me now. You are right now telling me the lie. Like you drink, but you, you want to forget about it. You want to forget something. You want to forget something that you're feeling. Think of something and you try, you're trying to Forget it by drinking. But don't think about the drinking itself. Okay. It's just an expression. Okay. Think about a border context. Yeah, Chinese is a beautiful thing. It's a deep thing. Okay, the, the drinker's mind is not on the cup, mm -hmm. it's on the woman or something. 0.5. And the whole sentence is So the drinker's mind is not on the cup, mm -hmm. it's on the view and on the waterfall and everything. So sometimes it's like you're drinking with a bunch of friends. Mm. You know, when I was in France, I was drinking red wine by the beautiful La Seine. But actually, I wasn't... We are drinking the cheapest bottle of wine, like yeah. two euro, three euro. So cheap. Okay, I get But I'm it. actually enjoying a good time with my friends. Okay, okay. I'm, Man, how was I supposed to guess this? <laughs> Maybe that should be your Chinese name. Joe <laughs> Yong. Come on to the bell. Joe Yong. Voila. <laughs> Découvrir. Le pot au rose. Découvrir, c'est dis discover. discover. Le pot, the pot, the pot, au rose of roses. Wow. It's not positive. I got myself into trouble. Because the roses, they, they have the, the thorn, thorn, right? Yeah. So, so if I have the pot there, I have a lot of thorns to deal with. Every time your reasoning was like, you went somewhere, so like it could have, you know, yeah. it, w it was never like, oh, I don't know. But you were always off. My life in a nutshell. <laughs> Okay, découvrir le poteau rose means to find out a secret or a plot. Like it's it's not it's a secret that's like for example someone is plotting against you. Yeah. And you find out you you finding out before it actually happened or whatever. Or someone is playing you. Yeah. Roses are expensive. They're valuable. You found something that's valuable because someone is trying to play you or cheat you or do something bad to you. You find out. It's like I was I was plotting. being run, roll into flowers and then I found the pot of roses. Boom. Je me suis fait rouler dans la farine. Après, j'ai découvert le, le pot de le, rose. Le pot de rose, yeah. Wow. It's, let's do a Cantonese expression so that my viewers from all over the world, you guys can guess with Wesley okay. at the same time. Okay. 
Say gai tang fan goi. So a dead chicken holding up okay, to a lid of a rice pot. So the chicken is dead, but it's still holding the, the, the lid. So maybe it's not dead. Is it, it's too big, that's why it's, uh, it's pushing, but it's not actually pushing on purpose. So, the lid. so it, it describes someone who is massive, overweight. <laughs> oh wait, I don't know what it means though, I don't know what it means. Someone is stubborn like you, like the chicken is dead, but it's still pu pushing because it doesn't want it doesn't want to be in the rice cooker. Let's say you you're wrong about something or you're proving wrong, and you 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 keep. All right, you you got it. <laughs> and then you keep denying that okay. you're wrong, even though you know you're wrong. Oh man, on fire, on feu. Je suis très content que tu es ici aujourd'hui. Moi aussi. Wow. Je suis très content. Uh. And. Je suis très content. J'ai gagné. I won. Oh, I know. <laughs> That's you're the king. Depending on when this is uh, posted, it's like twice. <laughs> yeah, you twice. Yeah, yeah. Check out Wesley Jameson's Instagram. He has lots of tunes dropping, and uh, he sings very nice songs. So yes, exactly. check them out. Check me out on YouTube as well. I have my right. music videos. See you guys next time. See you. Ciao. Merci. Bye bye. Uh, how do you do? You give kiss when uh. We can, we can. Just the French way. Bonne soirée. Bonne, Bonne soirée. soirée tout le monde. A bientôt. A bientôt. Ciao.